Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series. Man, it's good to be back. And I, guys, I apologize. We was I was on vacation for a long time, and uh, it's been tough, man. Uh, not getting anything done. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done in the background, but we haven't got a lot of done uh, here lately. So, what are you holding? This is the Ibanez 421, the RG 421 QM. Now, we're going to tell you a lot about this guitar, but first thing we're going to tell you is we bought this guitar to give away out of appreciation because you guys, thank you, thank you, have mm -hmm. got us to the point where we can have memberships to the channel. It opens up a lot more avenues for us, things we can do. So, uh, as a way to say thank you, this is outside of our norm pricing, but we wanted to give you guys something that's really nice, and I think this was really nice. This is a nice one. Yeah, I definitely agree. So this is a, what you say, is a 421 FM? QM. RG, QM. RG Quilted Maple. 421 yep. QM. So um, the cap here is maple. It's a quilted maple, but it is a veneer. But hey, at least it's wood. It looks it really nice. At least it ain't painted on. Mm -hmm. um, it's obviously a bolt-on. It's a 25.5 scale, 24 frets. Uh, everything pretty much standard Ibanez. Um, it has quantum humbuckers in it from Ibanez. Wizard 3 neck. Wizard 3 neck. Um, sounds really good. Plays really good. We haven't touched it. We tuned it a little bit out of the box, and uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a quintessential Ibanez. And I've really played it for like two minutes. You're the one who's been playing it, but to me, it feels like it probably plays. Even though it was higher, it, it plays you know more like it should have cost more money. Yeah, yeah, it definitely does. Um, it it is. What's the word I'm looking for? It's it's what you would expect for for an Ibanez RG. Yes. You know, and especially for the price, it's not really lackluster anywhere. So uh, RG has a huge line, and they go. They have a lot of different price points. And, you know, if this was an actual quilted maple top, not a veneer, then this guitar would probably be $1,000, $1,200 or whatever. But um, this is a great family of guitars from Ibanez. If you don't know anything about them, uh, man, they, they just, I've been playing Ibanez for 30 years on and off, and I've probably had four RGs. They're just kind of a staple of, mm -hmm. of you know, anything metal. That's why everybody, a lot of people play them, yeah. you know. Uh, great sounding guitar, great playing guitar. Uh, obviously, the aesthetics on it, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's great in color. Um, it's pretty cool binding on it as well. Yep, it's got nice binding. It's just very well put together. And, you know, if um, it does have a J Jatoba, Jacoba? Jatoba. Uh, Jacardi? No. <laughs> <laughs> it does have a Jatoba fretboard. Um, we don't have any problems with it. It plays great. The fretwork on it's really nice. Uh, I don't, it, I mean, they're not stainless steel, but hey, it plays really good. Um, and it's it's very well put together. Uh, it, it, when you pick it up, if, you know, nobody had told you what it costs, you would automatically assume it costs more. Yeah. So, uh, you've had a chance to spend a little time with it. I have been busy doing other stuff. What do you think about it when you play it? Is this like your it. first true Ibanez as far as spending time with? No, I've played on about two, if not three. Okay. Uh, definitely two. Uh, my cousin, he's, he's had quite a few Ibanez. Okay. And, uh, and I would always mess around on his, right. and um, I would get some chops in on those. You know, back when <laughs> I would say I was learning, I'm always learning, but when I was really putting my hands on guitars for the first time, right. um, I had the pleasure of playing on some Ibanez around that time. And, well, I can uh, date myself. I, like it. I can date myself, and I hate to admit this, but I, I had the very first wizard neck. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, had a, I had an RG with the first wizard neck on it. It was the first year, second year at least. This is a Wizard 3, mm -hmm. so it has evolved, um, and it still plays just like that. Very thin, extremely fast, yeah. uh, very narrow, uh, just just a great neck designed for speed. Yes. Designed for metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can't can't complain. It's what I would expect, and uh, and I'm, I'm happy with it. So this has got a five-way switch, uh, and you have a, a vo one volume, one tone. Uh, the Quantums, I was... A little on the fence about the Quantums, but hey, man, we've been playing this. I've been, well, let me take that back. I've been listening to him play it, 
And uh, it's got a great tone, man. It, it sounds does. really good. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get to y'all's favorite part of the show where we shut up and let you hear this in the mix. And when we come back, uh, we're going to talk price point, how we got it, uh, um, everything we feel about it on the review side, not on the, the technical side. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, you got to hear some of it in the mix. Um, what do you think about it? It's pretty good, man. I, I definitely like it. It plays really nice. It's got great tone. It's uh, it's fast if you need it to be or if, if you want to be, and it chugs. I like it. I believe it. Is it a push-pull? I don't think so, no. No, but you've got these. a five-way switch, yeah. so you don't really have to play metal with this. You can bust so this much. up and play whatever you want yeah. on it. Okay, so we ordered this directly from Sweetwater. Uh, we didn't get a deal or nothing. This the price on this guitar is three ninety nine. I just checked it; it's still on there at three ninety nine. Um, not really entry level. I know this is out of what we normally do, but hey, we did this as a favor to you guys, and we're hoping that you know more people get on there and get your name in the hat on this because <clears throat> when we get through with this review, we will be giving this away. Mm -hmm. All right, now next. Sitting to Colton's left is a court guitar, and I bought this kind of on a whim. It will be coming up in a future episode, and um, we're not going to talk about it, but I'm going to tell you what, <laughs> pretty dang impressed with it. It's pretty cool. And uh, it's back more in our entry-level series pricing. Um, we did something else for you guys. We went ahead and we bought this. We ordered this from Harley Benton. Uh, this is the Amrock 6. Um and uh, we're not going to get into anything on this guitar. I'm just going to go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. It's my favorite so far. So anyway, it's not in our entry-level series price point-wise. We'll talk about that on a, on a different episode. So we ordered this from Sweetwater. Get it in a couple days. It is $3.99. It is not a true maple cap, like a big, thick cap on top of that body. But hey... Man, this guitar, I don't know what the camera does on this, but this guitar is gorgeous. It's and really nice. um, on stage, up close, people are going to think you're playing, you know, at least $1,000, $1,500 guitar playing this. And it sounds like that, too. It does. It's not, uh, it's not cheap. All the electronics, uh, the, your tone volume, your five-way switch, everything feels like it should. Mm -hmm. It's not just thrown together. Um, the wizard neck, man, that's the same neck that's on an eighteen hundred dollar RG. You know yeah. what I mean? It's the exact same neck. So I don't really think you can go wrong. They just cut a little bit of corners by using the veneer. Yeah. But hey, man, that's that's a stupid nice guitar. Even if it got a little bit out of our entry level price point. I mean, I I really like it. I hope we can get enough people on board to where we can start doing more like these. I would like to give, mm -hmm. you know, this as a base. Yeah. You know what I mean? I would really like cool. to give this as a base and continue going. So if you didn't know it, we do have a TikTok account. You can go find us on TikTok. Uh, it's listed on the page. We just opened a Twitter account. Excuse me. X account. X. <laughs> 
Uh, and hey, we it's taken off over there. And we're not even really posting these reviews yet. We're just posting our shorts over there to kind of steer people back over here. But we may have to start posting those over there. Maybe. Um, we've got a ton of people jumped on board on it, though. So um, all in all, if you got three ninety nine and you play the type of music that this channel plays anywhere close to it, maybe even if you don't, uh, that's a heck of a buy. It's it's rock solid. I think it could do anything you would want to play. You know, if you if we if we went and did a gig today, we ha we have a ton of guitars. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And they're all just stupid high end. And don't get me wrong, I would never buy these guitars and then not play them on stage. But especially if you're traveling and you got to go to different venues and stuff, you don't want a whole bunch of those in cases where people can walk by and snatch them and stuff. Yeah, man, I would be on stage. I would be playing something like that. Yeah, this would be the road beater for sure, and yeah. it would handle it every step of the way. Yep. Yep, that's a really good guitar. So if you don't know nothing about it, it's an RG421 QM. Yep. Now they make the 421 with solid color, which won't be as expensive as this. They make it, I think, in a flamed maple, and they make it in a quilt. Who knows? They make it in a ton of different deals, but the the the, the review for this is really on the RG421. Mm -hmm. This one just happens to be the quilted maple. Right. And it just happens to be purple, which I'm not a fan of, but that's a gorgeous guitar. I dig it. I love the color. It's pretty cool. All right. So for now, we're going to get out of here. Well, we can't get out of here. I forgot about that. So in the next week, we will be announcing our membership part of the page. Uh, we've got to get a few other little things put together so it's worth your time and how we're going to structure it and how we're going to do it. We will be offering memberships, man. We really appreciate you guys. Mm -hmm. And Everybody understands the economy, man. It is what it is. We're not sitting here begging for nothing, but here's the deal. If you can get in on the memberships, we're going to try to get you some cool content, maybe some extra other giveaways for members only. And keep this in mind, if we, the more members we get, the better guitars we give away. I would like to be sitting here in in a month giving away, ordering custom guitars and giving them away. That'd you know what I mean? Cool. Just can't really afford to do that until this page takes off a little bit more. Man, we're getting close to about 8,000 subscribers right now. That's so even it's, cooler. I know. It's rocking right now. Yeah. And I think we've got, in two days, we got like 500 on X. Wow. People are just jumping on board. So, of course, we are giving stuff away, but we're hoping that the information for you helps you, too, because mm -hmm. that's the whole reason we started it. And then we decided, ah, we might as well give them away. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, check out the channel. Uh, go to X, TikTok, anywhere. You can find us. Fret Knot's easy to find. And until next time. Stay tuned.